Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take some plain thrifted items that I got from Goodwill and Salvation Army and we're just going to flip them and make them into primitive beautiful decor. So if you didn't know, I have a vendor booth and now I'm opening a whole room in another part of the state of Maine where I live. Uh, and I am trying to get it filled up and ready to open June 6th of this year. So I am just grabbing things that I can find in upcycling them, repurposing them if I need to, and getting them ready to uh, put in the booth and to sell. So this is what this video is going to be. It's a lot of uh, wood products that I got from Goodwill and Salvation Army. And I'm just going to be flipping them. A lot of them will be the black color or uh, some of them I'll leave stained, just, just the plain wood. But I need to put in plain items to dress up my more fancier items that I have. So... I, you know, I'm trying to cater to the primitive lovers, the antique lovers, the uh, repurposed and upcycle lovers. So um, trying to, to grab their attention and really want them to uh, want to buy something out of my room. Now, if you stick around to the end of the video, the last bit of it, I will be opening up a three pound package that I got from 24 Hour Crafts. They sent me an assorted package of different thicknesses, different sizes, and different cutouts that they offer. So it's definitely not all of them, but it's a few and kind of gives you an idea of what they have. I really like using them. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I love their crow cutouts and I use those a lot. And I so I wanted to show you the variety that they have. So if you want to stick around and see some of the things that they have on there in, you know, in video instead of in picture, then stick around to the end. This project I'm working on right now is just a wooden bowl that I thrifted from Goodwill and I'm just giving it a little upcycle and painting it. I sanded it first so the paint would stick a little bit better, painted it with black ink color from Waverly and then I sanded it down, distressed it, made it look old and aged and then added some antique wax. Now this box I got from, it's a little divider box I got from Goodwill. You can see there, I think it was $4 or $2. And it said as is on it. So I grabbed it up because I thought, well, all it is is just those tabs are missing the nails or screws and the little buttons on the top. So I grabbed some of these little paper, I can't remember what they're called. They're not paper clips, but they go in the holes of the paper to make little binders with them. And I had some of those in my office supplies and I just cut the little tabs off so I could use those to cover the holes. I glued the the tabs down to the wood that were already attached and then I glued these little round circles on there. I think this is probably a silverware organizer or an office organizer or something like that but it could really be used for a lot of different things. You could put it on your coffee table and add your remote controls and you know all your little things your nail files. I'm looking at my my table right now and it's like nail files and and uh, my hair clips and things like that just to keep them organized and when you you know get up in the morning and you can just grab everything and just go and I think um, these are really handy little boxes. I added my clamps to the sides that I added the glue to so they would stay down until it dried. They're only just for decoration, so it's nothing structural that they're needed for. Now, I decided that I wanted to make it a look a little more rustic, primitive, so I thought I would add black to those little metal pieces, and then I sanded them back just a little bit. 
I also, I don't think I showed it, but I did go out and spray it with my Rust-Oleum Clear Flat Spray, and that is gonna do it for this box. Now, I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm gonna show you guys the end result at the end of the video, just before I do my wood cutouts that I'm gonna show you. Uh, these are a couple of sconces that I picked up, and I don't even really remember where. I think these were Salvation Army, possibly. And I gave them a little sand just to, it, just to clean them up a little bit. And then I'm going to paint them black. I'm going to use Waverly uh, chalk paint, and we're going to give them... I think I did two coats on these, so I wanted to make sure they were covered really well, but of course I'm going to go in in distress because that's what I do. But again, if you don't like the distressing and you want to keep them all black with no distressing, then just skip this part. So I just went around the edges and I just like to give them a little bit of age. That's what the distressing is. It just makes them look aged and kind of uh, weathered like they've been around a little bit. Now with my black paint, I always love to use my antique wax over the top. It gives that black a nice, rich, deep color. And it also takes the brown that I sand back to, and it just makes that even look richer as well. So I really like how that how that pops up and and just makes everything look so good. So it also seals it and makes it easier to clean. So I like to do that too. And that's all I did with these. Now this is not a thrift flip item. This isn't from Goodwill or Salvation Army. This I believe I got at the free shack at my dump. I call it the shack. It's really not. It's a big, beautiful shed that uh, has some really great stuff that people just don't want anymore, but they don't also don't want to throw it away and think other people may want to take it home and, and use it. And so I think that's what I where I got this. And it looks kind of, it's kind of strange. It has cork on the top and then these little legs or feet on the bottom. It may have been possibly a, um, a lid to something or I'm not really sure what it was, but I'm going to use it as a riser. Uh, I can always use things like that in my booth to raise up different things and just get a better focal point to get your eyes to look in a different height at items. So I always love to look for things that I can do that with and I thought this would be fun to do. So I just gave it a little sand around the edges because it was a little bit shiny and cleaned it up and then I'm painted it with some green paint that I got from DWIL paint. I'll have that linked down below for you. And then I have uh, the Lover of Flowers IOD transfers. And I'm going to just use some pieces from that book that I have left over. And I'm just going to put them on there. So I you put a little poem and then a pretty little bluebell flower on there. And I mean, I, I think it looks better than the way it did before, and it's going to make a great riser for a candle or whatever you decide to display on it. Now, because it looks a little plain to me and I didn't want to sand, I decided I would take a little bit of black paint on a brush and just go over the edges on the top and give it a little highlight. It just adds dimension and just just a kind of a little frame around that poem and flower, I think. So I did that, I let it dry, and then I went over it with antique wax to age it. I wanted it to look old. I love these Lover of Flowers transfers because they, they just age up so well with that antique wax. So that's what I did with that. I think it came out looking really good. I also painted the bottom. I don't think I showed you that, but it, the bottom did get painted and sealed as well. Now this little divided box might be my favorite project out of all of them. This is a rough sawn piece of wood so that you can see all the little the little grains in it or the, the saw marks in it. And that kind of gives it a little bit of uh, a rough rustic look. So I thought I didn't want to do a full on coat of black paint, but I did want to paint it black around the outsides. I just didn't know how 
thick I wanted it or how thick black I wanted. I didn't want it full coverage. I just wanted to uh, get a, a, a light coat on there and just make it look like a nice prim box. So I just kept putting on little bits of coats of paint until I got to the place that I wanted it to be and then I could work around the whole box. I was just trying not to get it too too dark because uh, I wanted it to look like a worn box. So I did all the sides on the outside black and then I went over the middle and the edges and I did those in black as well. Uh, just a little, see how it's just very light here. So I didn't really want it to be super dark. Well, then I let it dry and I went on with my antique wax as I usually do. I wanted the box to be a nice deep dark color as far as the brown would be. And when I put this on for some reason, it I don't know if it reactivated the chalk paint or what it was because it was wet, but it um, just turned this a really dark piece which is okay because it's still distressed and because it's rough sawn that, you know, it's got the rough texture on it that I didn't bother to, um, to try and fix it. It, it, I, I liked it that way and I thought, well, it's going to make it look even more rustic. So it did. I put the wax on and I wiped it back and it just looks so awesome it looks distressed and um, and aged, just the way I like it. And then I decided I wasn't going to do anything to the interior of it. And then I decided I wanted to add the antique wax to the inside of the box and give it that nice, deep, stained look on the inside. So I just put that in there and then wiped it back. And I, I really like the difference. I'm going to show you here in just a second the difference between the not stained and the stained side. And I just like it with the black for some reason. That just is what I like. So that's what I decided to do with that. And I did the, the other side, obviously, to match. And I think they came out really cool. So this is the end of... The projects and now I'm going to show you how they came out. If you're still here and want to stick around and watch me open up these and show you these different shapes, thanks for being here. So I am an affiliate with 24 Hour Crafts and I recently decided that I wanted to buy some of their mystery boxes that they sell, which is an assorted bunch of sizes and shapes of different cutouts that they have and thicknesses. And so I thought that it would be really cool to grab one of the three pound boxes that they had they come in one two three and five pound boxes and it's just a mystery they just put a bunch of different ones together and they put them all in this box for you and you can just be surprised when you open it so I thought this would be a great way to show you again here the different thicknesses and the different shapes and sizes that you can get 
Look how thick that H is. It's a really thick one. You have the either the number eight or the infinity. Um, there's a nice a couple nice hearts that I could use for something. And I think this is a really creative way, especially, you know, if you don't know what you're going to do, you can just go into one of these and just open it up and just do a craft. I haven't had time to actually sit down and plan out anything uh, to do with these, and I really want to, and I wanted to do it in this video. I've just been so busy that I haven't had time to sit down and just figure it out, but I will eventually. But I wanted you guys to see how really cool these cutouts are and just get some ideas. And you can go check it out. This is just a very small portion of what they what they uh, sell and make and they do for the different holidays. Uh, recently, I just saw they had rabbits and popsicles on sticks and um, uh, lawn chairs and uh, all these just crazy great cutouts that you can use for uh, the whole, the upcoming Memorial Weekend, which is now, or a 4th of July, which is coming up. And especially if you have a booth or something, these would be great. So I just wanted you to see how, how diverse, I guess, that they have uh, in these shapes and sizes. I was thinking these little pieces looked like petals and then I took the circle to make it look like the inside of a flower and then you have those little watering cans and just all kinds of really cool stuff and I just you know from small to to really big and I I had purchased one of these big foot cutouts a while back I think it was last year actually from a husband for I don't know, Father's Day or his birthday. It's kind of around the same time. And I painted it up and I showed how I did that. I'll link that down in the description if you want to see what I did with that. But uh, he really liked it and it's it's just fun to, to see it kicking around here and um, know that I did that. So it's pretty neat. But um, yeah, just so many great pieces that I just absolutely love. And look at the size difference. Like you have this little teeny tiny airplane and this great big Bigfoot. They can just do all kinds of sizes and all shapes. And it's just fantastic. Now they have a, the reason why they're called 24 Hours Crafts is you place your order and it will ship out within 24 hours of you placing your order. And anything above $40 is a free shipping. Now, if you go down in the description, I will have a link down there and also a discount code, Repurpose My Way, all one word. And you can use that to get, uh, I believe, I'm not even going to say the percentage off because I can't remember right now at this moment. But um, you get a percentage off from your order as well. Even if there's a sale, it'll still take the percentage off. Typically, it usually does, unless it's stated that it doesn't. But I have had nothing but great luck with this company and anything that I've purchased from them I absolutely love and I just wanted you to see all the wonderful things that they have. If you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell that no it's a notification bell that'll let you know whenever I upload a video because you just never know what I'm going to come up with. So don't forget to like this video let me know down in the description what you think of my projects and what you think of these cutouts. Did you like them? 
If you did, make sure you check out their website and I'll have that link down in the description and make sure you use that discount code so that you can save a little bit of money. Thank you for watching and have a great day.